very dark man will lose intelligent Nigerian support. It is just a matter of time if he continues talking down on Yabojo and he continue all this um, rhetoric statement. So I would address very dark man. I will speak to you today not as a critic but as someone who believes in your potential to be a transformative figure for Nigerians. You have become a symbol of hope for many, a voice that changes the status quo and demands accountability in a way that resonates with the masses. This is no small feat. It is a mantle that requires wisdom, focus and above all responsibility. However, it pains me to see how easily very dark man you allow yourself to be drawn into petty conflict and personal grievances dragging Iyabojo and others through continuous public banter diminishes the larger purpose you actually represent in the in the stage at which nigerians see you let me say this do not think nigerians are not watching and do not think also that you have won the art of nigerians to a level whereby no matter what you do Nigeria cannot turn against you. I believe this distraction chip away at the trust Nigerians have placed in you. They don't rally around you to watch you trade insults. They rally because they believe you can be the leader who stands above such chaos. And, and I want you to really understand this. Leadership is not just about having a voice. It's about knowing when to use it and more importantly, when to remain silent. Not every criticism requires a response. At least you should have considered what has happened with Don Jazzy and D1. Regardless of what we all are saying, ah, Don Jazzy might take a step. Don Jazzy never responded to D1. And the guy kept silent. And not every, not every distractor deserves your energy. Emotional control is not weakness. It is the strength that separates true leaders from mere provoc... Do we call them provocators? Nigerians, we are all tired of leaders who squander their potential on petty fights. They, the Nigerians, we kind of want someone who embodies integrity, someone who channels their pain and trust into meaningful action. Because the future you have, you have ahead of you is bright, but only if you rise above all these noises. You must ask yourself, VDM, what legacy do, you, do I want to leave behind? Is it one of constant argument or one that shows resilience, focus, and the ability to inspire real change? And if you continue to allow yourself to be consumed by negativity, the very people who stand with you today will lose faith. And once, and once that faith is gone, it is almost like impossible for you to reclaim it. Life is not supposed or it's not about silencing every critic or proving every point. It's about building something greater than yourself, something that endures. You are capable of this, huh? but only if you choose to be bigger than the battles you are currently fighting. So I urge you, my brother, take a step back and reflect. Choose, a, a, choose to lead with dignity, not, not spite. Choose to focus on the mission that has brought you, brought you to Nigerians, to bring Nigerians to your side. Show them that they are trust in you is not misplaced you have the ability to be a figure who inspires generation but you must act with maturity and grace that such and that's such a role you need to also consider this that the initially you had the youth in your mind like you want the youth in partially in about 50 percent of the youth or 60 percent of the youth and in a matter of time when you begin to address things that affect the countries you want the hearts of the elderly people a lot of elders they begin to look in, into you you started winning those people who are in diaspora who are not just now looking at nigerian youth as people who only consumes negativity or spill out negativity on social media but this your continuous statement of yeah but i go drag you down i go do this yeah, your mother I, I just made a video not quite long talk addressing that you are beyond the yeah you. but right now you think not everybody you have to go to the mud with you are bigger than all these things but reality i only pray that you can listen to me because trust me trust me brother trust me i will tell you 
your fans may not agree and this is the reason why i use the title that intelligent nigerians may turn against you very dark man if you're not careful the reason is this people do not just follow you might have people who will follow you no matter what you do even if you like you you grip somebody you shoot somebody you do something there are some people who will follow you they will not mind but there are certain people who are following you because they are intelligent to see the actions of what you are doing they look past some of your negativity and look at the positivity but you can't keep focusing on the negativity and think that certain individuals will keep rallying around you you don't let it become a misplaced priority bro i remain the man of thought i said i should give him my own advice i hope you listen i hope you let this rise above you I hope your, your fans who love you, who truly loves you, know that I'm giving you something. I am a seer. And what I'm seeing, no good. And I understand that some people will say, wait, wait till you see, wait till you see, until the time comes. And then they would remember, even they wouldn't even remember. Don't let this, this is capable of destroying. Yes, you might think it's Yabo, but this is very capable of destroying your future. Forget about it. People might tell you it is impossible, but it is possible. It might not be your bojo, but you will get into, if you make it an habit and you don't let this side of you die. Paul said something in the Bible. He said, when I was a child, I act like a child. They say, where, where there comes more power, there comes more responsibility. You need to understand that you carry Nigeria on your shoulder. And if you can truly carry Nigeria on your shoulder, you have done, gone to Access Bank, you have started doing things that is supposed to move um the country forward and you're speaking the truth but don't let all these things well i don't even know what to say about you but i hope god give you the year to listen because now small thing yoruba will say kama fi so kikire ka fi badije now small thing person they do where they pay take loose nigerians they are very impatient you see one thing i have known if Niger nobody come on my platform where insult me where cost me where they respond to the person i will only ask you a few questions if you can't answer they go anybody say hey we, we can't sue you we go do this we go, we go i don't respond to anybody because you know what energy also eats if you bring negative energy and i follow you back with ne negative energy now i begin to feed you of your negativity and then you start feeling bored. so don't engage with all these things let it go don't think i'm um, because someone abused your mother everybody my man i person don't cause but when you are in the heights, when you are in the mountain, you need to be scared of falling. And don't think you can't fall. My brother, nobody in this life, nobody in this life that cannot fall. No one is an exception to the rule. Think about it, brother. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. Then you talk the truth again, they lock you in jail. They never hear anything at all. Then go here, bansa, bansa. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. Then you talk the truth again, they lock you in jail. They never hear anything at all. Then go here, bansa, bansa.